Hello, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. This is Sir Kair again. Uh, today's lesson is number nine. It's about uh, stories in music video. Very straightforward. And I hope you just you can learn something from today's lecture, okay? Uh, so the learning objective for today at the end of the, uh, this uh, video presentation is I want you to plan a rubric for assessing the quality of a music video. So I will share a bunch of uh, music videos on Google Classroom. You watch all of them and try to compare which one you like it, which which one you, you don't like, why do you, you like it, why you don't like it, okay? So here I will share uh, this um, lesson plan on, on Google Classroom as well, so you can read it by yourself. But essentially, I just want to talk about uh, music video today. And uh, later on, I hope you can plan out on how you assess a music video, all right? So there are three types of music video. Number one, performance. Number two, narrative. And number three, conceptual. Uh, conceptual means uh, concept, an idea, right? I will elaborate more later on. So performance music video, it, it is when the artists perform on stage. Uh, in particular, as an example, is the Welcome to the Black Parade by one of my favorite band when I was in high school, My Chemical Romance. It's very surreal the way they perform the song. Uh, there, uh, you know, there's this uh, dark uh, theme uh, in the music video that when you watch the video, I don't know if you watch it right now, but when I was when I watched it when I was in high school and I was uh, when I was a teenager, it was so like uh, it was mind blowing and I really like it. It's, they perform the music in such a way that there's a there's an eerie feeling uh, behind it. Okay. Number two is narrative. Narrative music video, uh, you know, narrate. When you narrate something, you tell a story. So there's a story inside the music video about uh, what the singer is trying to say, okay? So here is an example of uh, one of narrative music video uh, by uh, Eminem. The title of the music video is Stan. It's a story about an obsessed fan who really likes uh, Eminem, obsessed over Eminem to a point that he, um, he imitated every single living style of Eminem the way he dress, the way he talk, and the way, even the way he treat his uh, family. So it is like a, a, a sad, uh, a sad story of, uh, of an, op, uh, you know, obsessed individual over an artist. It's a very nice music video. You can check it out. Uh, I shared the link on Google Classroom. Another one, the, the final, the third one is concept music video. Uh, concept videos are based around a single idea and are usually unusual and even uh, serial it's 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 not you don't you don't see it every single day so an example is a her morning elegance by orin levy if you watch it it's a it's a motion pictures of uh, of a love uh, story between um, you know uh, between two individuals Okay, it's, it, there's a story behind it. It's just a simple uh, sky view shot and there's a story in it. So you need to watch the video to really understand uh, what I'm trying to say here. So, but the third one is a concept music video. It's based on one idea. And there's also a sub of these types of uh, uh, three types of music video. Huh? So there are lyrics, live music video, montage, uh, montage uh, animation, animation, uh, uh, pastiche, uh, fan-made, abstract, parody, and theme-based. I'm not going to explain more on this, but uh, I just try to briefly explain what it is. Huh? So lyrics video is a video with lyrics, simple. Monta mo montages is, a, is a, mo montage is actually when you combine, when you glue every single shots that you have into one. So when you watch it, people, try to you know they have this idea of uh, of uh, of a combination of of footages so people can appreciate the artistic nature of it so a video montage is a series of short video clips sequenced together to tell a story so the key point is that there's a story in that music video for example a documentary might use a montage to set the scene at the beginning of the film 
while a drama montage might show various scenes that advance the plot cut together to build uh, suspense. Uh, I think a very good uh, example is if, you, if you're into American TV series, uh, The Breaking Bad, or better call uh, Saul, there's a, there's a very nice um, cutting scene where the, uh, the director put the final scene at the beginning of the first season, first chapter, and you as the audience will be, uh, you know, are guided towards that final scene from one episode to another. So it's a, it's a very nice uh, uh, TV series. But here we're talking about, of course, a music video. Uh, next one is animation music video. So uh, a lot of you, I think, know what is, you know, Naruto, Dragon Ball. So there's a lot of um, animation uh, music video that tells, <clears throat> that really summarize uh, the, the anime uh, uh, world, so to speak. Uh, pastiche uh, music video. Uh, this is an artistic work in a style that imitates that of another work. Um, it is when an artist sample his or her work based on a previous artist. But of course, this is, there's a problem of copyright infringement. Copyright infringement is when you decided to uh, copy the intellectual property of, a, of another person. Intellectual property is not a physical property. Uh, intellectual property is something that you produce like music or written work and so on, okay? Which you can gain money out of it. So a good example is uh, Uptown Funk by Bruno Mars and Mark R Ronson. If you watch that, if you listen to the music and you've watched the music video, it is almost the same as Funk You Up uh, by uh, the sequence, sorry. So, so Funk You Up is actually by the sequence. Uh, there's an error there, this one, oh, sorry. And also by uh, Let's Get In On by Marvin Gaye with uh, Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sharon. okay? So there's also, a, a, you know, a, a, you know it's, it sounds almost similar if you, if you listen to them. I, I share an article on Google Classroom for you to read. Abstract music video is, um, it is, it is like an abstract, okay? That, you know, there's a lot of um, editing involved. It's like a, 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 like a, like an art, okay? So the main purpose of abstract music video is to create a feeling or a mood uh, in an in artistic way. So for example, is uh, A Life Goes On by Oliver Tree. I'm not sure if you are familiar with this artist, Oliver Tree. He, he is in character, okay? Uh, this jacket wearing weird alien looking man, but very good in singing. So if you watch this, his music video on YouTube, probably you have an idea, but uh, Oliver Tree always have this abstract music video. A parody music video by Eminem, you know, you can watch it. Uh, you can just type on Google uh, Eminem parody music. Uh, I, I don't remember this, the title of the song here, but it is when Eminem make fun of Michael Jackson, make, make fun of Britney Spears, make fun of a lot of artists in his music video. A theme music video is based on theme, based on, uh, uh, you know, like a, a war or or, uh, or health or life, there's a theme behind it, okay? I think that's it. Uh, so go check on Google Classroom. I have given a task there and I want you to do it. Uh, and also in lesson eight, in the previous lesson, I, I found out that not a lot of you have done your work. You need to do your task in order for you to be able to complete your assignment number two, which I will give next week. So if you haven't done any of the tasks, you will find it difficult to do the final assignment. So please do it, all right? Okay, all right, I think that's all. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Have a good one.